The data that I'm looking for in 2020, uh, because I have a, a real interest in this, is the preliminary results of the various screening programs for, for lung cancer that are going on in the UK at the moment. The data so far in the, from the pilots has been fascinating. It, it shows that in the UK we can do things really well and it's thanks to adherence to, to good evidence-based guidelines and to our expert multidisciplinary teams. Uh, in particular, we've, sh we've shown that our uh, levels of harm in the CT screening programs are below anything that's ever been recorded in the world. And such that we're actually in, uh, the subject of some scrutiny, whether we're actually doing it right or not. Uh, and, that's, uh, and, that, and we will be measuring that. Uh, so those data will also be very, very interest, interesting. So more data on the, on the CT screening programs is, is, is my, uh, my, my real interest for, for, for next year, amongst many, many other things. In terms of the highlights of, of this uh, meeting, I, it's always difficult to focus on an individual highlight because um, the, the, the BTOG meeting is very special because everyone is um, uh, get, uh, working towards the same goal. And although that's the, that's the case also in the World Lung Cancer Conference and other, other ca cancer conferences, it really is uh, a, a feeling that, you've, that is uh, intense in, in, the, in the BTOG meeting. And I think that, that for me, uh, the combination of, of the different experts all leading their field, all pulling in the same direction, is the, is the principal highlight of this, this meeting. There's lots and lots of different things that have been very interesting, but uh, certainly that, that is the thing that always comes over to me as the highlight of B BTOG.